Hello, I'm Ladislav Smola. I'm a Reddit engineer and I will show you how to install OpenStack using InStack. We'll be using list of steps in GitHub under a group InStack under cloud. So let's begin. I've already done first four steps. They are pretty easy. Just adding user, cloning repositories, here is some small patch for allowing x86-64 architecture. Installing dependencies, adding user to the liver group. And then we are at the fifth step, which will create virtual machines for us. This OpenStack installation will be done using virtual machines using a BM poser, so they, they will act as bare metals, but all the, the whole deployment will be done in one machine. So this setup will create one undercloud machine for us, which will be management machine for, for the OpenStack called Overcloud, and four bare metal machines on which we will deploy the OpenStack later. This step will take about five minutes, so let's just jump right to the end. So the virtual machines has been created. We can check them with virtual list. And we can see there is one Instack machine, this is our undercloud, the management machine for the overcloud. And these machines will be used for deployment of OpenStack. So we have Instack VM address here. Let's see the next steps. We should SSH to the Instack VM. And the other step after that is download images to the home stack. So we can do that first. I have already downloaded the images, so I will just rsync them to the machine home stack. Let's do that. And before that finish, we can SSH on that address. terminal we will use it later and we are there the rsync is still going on so we will check the next steps next step is to clone instack under cloud to the home directory let's do that source the RC file and this will install undercloud OpenStack that will be used for the installation of our overcloud OpenStack. So we need images there. Okay, they are there. Let's check it. Yes, we have them here. So let's install under cloud. Okay, so this this step will take about 25 minutes. So we can again jump right to the end. So our under cloud has been deployed. It tells us to copy the password on stack RC to the home dir directory, which is the last step of the of the installation so let's do that you can source the stack rc 
we can verify whether the open stack is working actually. Let's try Novalist. We can see that there is nothing, we haven't deployed anything yet. But if we try, for example, glance image list, there should be a list of images pre created. We see there is images for compute, control, Swift, and cinder storage. That's good. So let's see what is in stack RC. And we can see we have OS password here. This is under cloud admin user password. We will use this for logging into the UI. But before we can actually log into UI, we have to create SSH tunnel because it is running inside VM and it's not publicly accessible. So let's create a simple SSH tunnel. It will connect to this machine this is the IP address on the undercloud. It will connect to the port 80 and it will be available for us on localhost on this port. So let's run this. And we are done. We can sign in into the UI. So let's go to the browser. So on localhost port 8040, user is admin, let's copy the password again, make sure it's correct. <coughs> Sorry. And we are logged in. So. It tells us we have no nodes available. So that will be the first step we will do. We have created four VMs in the weird setup step. So now we need to register them into Ironic. We can do that using auto discovery with upload CSV feature. So we need to prepare the CSV file. I have a script prepared that will create the needed CSV. So let's go to the undercloud and let's run it. Now it's in node CSV file. So we will copy the content. machine okay so the CSV contains information about the driver that will be used for VMs we are using pixie SSH for bare metal we will be probably using IPMI these are the pixie SSH credentials it's IP address name and key and this is the MAC address and this, this info is for the four nodes we have created before, the four virtual machines. So let's save this and let's upload the file. We have the node CSV here. So we are ready to, to register the nodes. So the nodes are being registered now. We can see that no info is auto discovered about them yet. It will take about two minutes to fill this information. Then we will have to activate the nodes so they will get from the maintenance category. So we can again jump a little bit forward. We can see that nodes are slowly being auto discovered, but not all of them are ready yet. So let's wait for a couple more minutes seems like one node is taking a longer to discover but that's okay we will be testing deployment on just two nodes so three will be just enough we can keep it discovering 
we will activate the ready nodes you can see it is moving to the registered category so now we have three nodes ready for the deployment we will check what deployments row we have by default there is compute and controller image and flavor is defaulted correctly so we don't have to do anything with that all we need to do is set up configuration right now most of the configuration is defaulted or auto generated all we need to set now is snmp password by default is unset so let's put there the real one we can find it in at ccilometer so this is the snmpd password let's copy paste it so this password will be deployed to every node in the overcloud and the snmp will be configured with that so under cloud ceilometer will have the right password for accessing the nodes via SNMP so we can have real-time statistics in the task UI. So let's save the configuration. And we are ready to deploy. We will deploy just one controller and one compute, but HA is now working. So we can have more controllers and more compute. Let's hit deploy. It says to us that some of the stuff will be auto-generated. It's basically all the passwords plus keystone certificates. So it, in the next iteration it will be able to uh, set this in the service configuration. Okay, we can hit deploy. deploying we can see there is zero from one on each node so this will take about 12 minutes so we can jump forward a bit now we can see one of the nodes has been already deployed so just a few more minutes and the second node will be deployed and another three minutes to finish the whole installation. So we can see second node has been deployed. <coughs> so installation is finishing now. We can check the full log of what is happening. This is event list from a heat, so check it by timestamp. And we can see that Compute all node deployment and controller all node deployment is still in progress. So after those two will be finished, we should have installation complete. You can see it took six minutes so far, if I'm correct. Let's wait a couple more minutes and it will be done. And the deployment is completed. It says it needs initialization, so let's do that. So now the overcloud is in a state that has OpenStack deployed, but it's empty. So before we can actually start to use it, we need to initialize it. That means 
we will create admin user using admin token. This is the only time we will use the admin token. Since then, we are start to use admin user for all the operation. So using admin user, we will then create endpoints of all the services. And as a last step, <coughs> we will uh, set up Neutron. So set up Neutron are these fields and it's baby ba basically basically allocation pool so we can keep it default and let's initialize initialized so the overclock horizon is running on this URL and these are the credentials we can use to connect there but before we try uh, to connect to overclock horizon let's check if monitoring is working On the overview page, we can see we have two provisioned nodes and we can see the aggregated st stats of the nodes. We can also check the nodes one by one. So we can see there is some network traffic, some system load, some CPU utilization. Check the other node. Compute is also working. And we can also see aggregated stats uh, aggregated stats according to roles. So let's try, for example, compute role. And that's it. We can see a list of nodes here. This is aggregated stats, though now it's aggregated stats of one node. So it seems everything is working. So we are ready to connect to the overclock and try if that is deployed correctly. Now, before we will go to the browser, we will have to create the tunnels again. This time we need to create two of them because overclock horizon is accessible only through undercloud. So on the lab machine, we will tunnel to the undercloud and to the overcloud or uh, overcloud machine port 80. We will expose it on port 8111 on the lab machine. Let's do that. And from this laptop, I will tunnel to the lab machine to the port uh, 8111 and it will expose it to port 8045. So let's do that. is done it should be now available on localhost port 8045 let's sign in using the credentials from the management UI and it's working and we can check if we have the hypervisor there okay this is our compute node which is shown here as one deployed hypervisor so it seems to be working we will not be deploying any VMs because that would require nested virtualization. Okay, thank you very much.